Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Mattel has been blasting us with a full week of new Masters of the Universe reveals from both their Origins and Masterverse lines. Now, I've been covering all of the updates here on the channel, so do check out all of the videos and subscribe to the channel as always for more news and for just an all-around good time. The last of their reveals is this 40th anniversary edition He-Man, the first time that we're seeing a vintage style He-Man figure in the Masterverse line. Okay, real talk guys. Wait, what am I saying? It's always real talk with me here. Anyway, when I saw the reveal for this figure, I found myself both stunned in wonder and disappointed at the same time. Stunned in wonder because in package, this thing looks like a real beauty. They even went all out by giving us the artwork on the back as well. Usually the back artwork is like a secret until later, but we're getting it up front now. And you know what? It just looks stunning. You know, at the bottom here, is Skeletor about to ambush He-Man? Or is he hiding from him? But like I said, I was also disappointed because I was expecting the final reveal to be something much more massive. There have been rumors swirling about for a long time that there could be an origin styled Snake Mountain playset on the horizon. It seemed about the right time too, you know, because it was around this time last year that the Castle Grayskull playset started to hit. But it looks like we're just gonna have to wait a lot longer for any sort of confirmation on that. But it's something that we definitely do need for our collection. Something that we need right now. <laughs> It really is quite a sight seeing the classic Masters of the Universe logo fonts appear on the Masterverse box packaging, along with the iconic red backdrop and the visual of the rocks blasting towards you, signaling the product's arrival. Even the typically boring Masterverse title font seems to have adopted the classic fonts as well. Now this is a cool touch because the Masterverse branding has typically always seemed very professional and with classy lettering, but here it's going classic 80 style. It's kind of like when you're watching a movie and the studio logo at the front of the movie adopts the specific film brand that it's releasing. Like for instance, when you watch an X-Men movie and you see the classic 20th Century Fox logo on the screen, and then all of a sudden the letters start to slowly fade away until you're just left with the X in Fox on the screen. You know, something like that. You know, it's like a cool logo tie-in. The vintage style hit looks very nice. Ever since Origin started pumping out the vintage style He-Man hits with the Battle Armor He-Man release last year, we are used to now seeing vintage He-Man hits in the market, but this is the first time that it comes on a Masterverse sized body and the execution is great. It's the vintage styled expression with the steely eyed gaze, the half open mouth, you know, one where he looks just assured and confident, all right? You know, just sure and confident of himself, like a man in his 40s would be, you know, a man like you and me. I did see some comments saying that the chest harness looks like it could be of a metallic color, but in this other image here, it just looks like more of a flat grey colour to me. What do you guys think? If you notice as well, they've also updated He-Man's torso from that of the standard Masterverse He-Man body and now he's got even more apps for us to be envious about. By comparison to the Wave 1 Revelation He-Man body, um, that one didn't quite have as many sculpted apps on display. The selection of accessories is also complete from what you would expect from a vintage style He-Man figure. We get the power sword, we get the axe, and we get the shield. Now the shield has more of a darker orange color tone here uh, compared to the shield that came with the Revelation He-Man figure in Wave 1. Also in that Wave 1 He-Man set, the axe wasn't included if you remember, so having it here is a great bonus. Now I don't know why but I can't help but just draw a comparison to Super 7's ultimate he-man figure that came out something like about i think two years ago uh before origins uh and you know this being like a 40th anniversary edition he-man release i kind of feel that they just should have been one or two more additional items thrown in there stuff that we maybe just wouldn't expect like maybe just an alternate head like I said, I just can't help but compare it to that Super 7 Ultimate He-Man figure because, you know, it also came with everything that you would expect from a vintage style He-Man figure. You got all the traditional accessories, but then it also came with all these cool additional 
extra hits okay the extra hits maybe more than you could have requested for but you're know, definitely a surprise and a fantastic addition to the package i kind of feel that if this 40th anniversary set had a vintage style he-man head for the masterverse body uh one that we've probably never seen before or an expression that was entirely unique to the masterverse range but with the vintage style head uh i think that would have been a fantastic addition to the set I'm not really sure at what stage of production these images are supposed to be, but when you look at the shots of He-Man in package, I think that the color tone on his body looks really great. It's got a fantastic tan to it, all right? And uh, all of the sculpted bits really stand out. I'm not sure if this photo has been touched up, but you know, in the other shots that you see here, he seems to have a far lighter color tone on his body. And I don't know which one is the final version, but I sure hope it's the one that we're seeing in the box. You know, somehow I just can't help but feel that, um, you know, and this is something that, in fact, we've seen time and time again with all of these modern toy properties that are, in fact, based off classic properties from the 80s, you know, stuff like Transformers, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, you know, all of these brands, He-Man now as well. It's like, you know, no matter how modern they try to take the franchise, you know, in which direction they try to take it into, uh, it always ends up coming back to the retro designs right it always comes back to the retro looks whether it's the design of the figure or whether it's the packaging you know almost all of these brands end up coming back full circle to that retro look and after a while you kind of feel that uh, it's just something that you know ends up moving in a continuous circle uh and it's the same thing that we're seeing here now as well it's like you know the masterverse line is supposed to be like this bold new reimagining of the he-man franchise you know giving us sculpts uh, maybe updates of classic figures that we've not seen before but then you know somehow i just kind of feel that they know all right it's like that trump card that they have all right you know that card that they want to pull out from the deck is the winning hand they just know that you know when they put out something that's just really vintage inspired like what you're seeing here right now that's when you know they've hit the hysteria button okay that's when people just <laughs> come out come out in droves and just start buying shit up I guess that's why the title of the video is Retro, the only way to go. Okay guys, so that's the video. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts, alright? Let me know what you think of the 40th anniversary edition He-Man figure that Mattel is putting out for their Masterverse range of toys. And uh, let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below, okay? And I'll catch you guys again real soon for more content. Thank you and take care.